Hey guys. So I tried to find the error and I did some reading on the internet and um, say something. Or did you just fart? Some people seem to have a problem with the uh, echo as well. Not a lot though. Um and for me it is only while I'm recording. I don't hear any echo in the real game. Um, so I read that for some it helped to switch to surround um, 5.1. Um, so I did that and I did seven test videos and they all seemed fine. After I played that, them, they had a lot of cutscenes in between and a lot of talking. You ought to shave. Get a haircut. Dif different, um, different cutscenes, mini cutscenes, and so on. And it shows those points where there was uh, much back and forth between people talking, and um, yeah, they all seemed fine. It's also Somehow strange that it occurred um, when the that's a scene where the king was dying or was killed rather. Um, it was um, only later in the recording that the echo appeared, so it's really hard for me to track it down because it's not easy to, to track the error down. It's not easy to to replicate the error, so. If it was always the same error, error, you know, I could see, I could um, tweak the settings um, until it fits, until it's all right again. But since it, it appears somewhat randomly, I'm kind of, it's kind of tough to find find uh, what's causing it. I hope it will be, it would stay okay for now. As I've said, if I've recorded seven. Test videos. This one will be the eighth, and um, Freak. Freak. yeah, it won't be. It will be very short again because I want to make sure Greetings. that everything works. Um, so right, um, I always find that interesting in, in RPGs. In many RPGs, you can just steal stuff right in front of people, and it's no big deal, right? That's just the normal looting process. Things run different in RPG, in fantasy, medieval times, I guess. What was that? Yeah, so this is a little bit of a testing video. What are you looking at? Bloody hell! Yes. They don't have that much to say. But some even do look look alike. I think I've seen the same woman, this one here, somewhere else. Um, <laughs> she's waiting for someone. Whoop. And then she glitched away. I guess she found whatever she was waiting for. Hello. Okay, this is weird now. Welcome. Maybe it wanted to play some battle music and it realized that there's no actual enemy, so the game said, "Ah, oh, fuck it, I won't play any music at all." Um, hmm. Yeah. So about um, uh, the slow development uh, and how to kind of suck uh, viewers or readers into a story. I've, I've mentioned that before. You know, if you let the viewer play a little investigator <coughs> yourself mm, or themselves. Um, then they have to use their brain and they come more involved in the story automatically. They're 
part not only of the story but they're creating the story in partially in, in, in their head if they connect the dots <coughs> and what I meant by the, the, the um, example that you dig in the sand and something is odd there's there's a different there's like a process you know uh, it's just an example um, like you're having fun you're in a having a grand old time playing as a kid for example uh, erecting a, a sand castle building a sand castle oh I'm carrying too much weight and um, you're going on with with the building and um, you see something odd and by that is you, you you don't realize at first what it is there's like an object sticking out of the sand and it looks kind of grayish so weird texture and th this is what I mean there are very there are different steps involved there it could go many ways what what that could be it could be a monster or something well you don't know it could be an object it could be and let's go with that it could be um like you you free, free the object from the sand and, and then you see oh it's a finger and it's like grayish because uh, it's pale because it's a part of a body it's dead and then you dig a little more and you see it's a complete hand and you realize wow there's a complete dead bu body buried under the sand where you have where you just were totally playful so this is how you develop like um, you you kind of let it play out a little right uh, it could have been a, a monster as well like maybe even some dead monster so you leave that uh, this is then you, uh, uh, a, a, a remnant of things uh, a memory of things that were there and by realizing that monsters do exist it also um, raises the question um, are there more of them right so that's you glide into the horror right if there's one monster there there could be that's dead. There could be another monster nearby that is uh, still alive. So, yeah. Mm, I guess I need to craft some shit. <laughs> and I, I also said that if you if you uh, find um, like not direct clues but indirect clues, that's that's always uh, for me at least. It's more scarier because it's it is just scarier because it uh, kind of builds attention you know and also mm, involves your 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 mind and your thinking process um, yeah hang on I don't want to make the video too long anyway so I will sort that out and save here and yeah let's hope there's no echo, right? Okay, see you soon, guys.